Works begin in the arch erection zone with the demolition of some existing buildings and a global clearing and backfilling in order to improve the radiological status of the area. Once the area has been cleared, earthwork operations will be started. Two large trenches will be excavated for the skidding beams which are the arch supports. At the same time, rectangular excavations are performed for the foundations for the erection towers in the middle of the erection zone. In order to achieve effective and safe transportation operations, new radiologically clean roads will be created. They allow heavy equipment such as cranes, trailers and concrete mixing trucks to drive in the arch erection zone and to bring specific equipment and materials without spreading airborne contamination or becoming contaminated themselves. After road construction, concrete works will begin. The tower foundations will be built using the usual civil construction process, placing blinding concrete in the excavations, positioning the reinforcement cages previously prefabricated off-site, and finally pouring the structural concrete. Similarly, the skidding beams will be built on deep foundations in order to support the arch during its erection and transfer. The civil works will be followed by backfilling operations in order to recreate a clean platform flat and strong enough to support the heavy equipment required for the arch assembly. Arch elements will be prefabricated in segments outside the arch erection zone. Those segments weighing between 120 and 400 tonnes and approximately 60 metres by 12 metres by 25 metres will be transferred to the erection zone by modular trailers. The first segments to be transferred to the erection area concern the top part of the arch. The arch will be made in two parts. The first one to be assembled will be the eastern part. The corresponding top segments will be placed and connected by bracing and infill elements to form a complete structure. The first erection towers will be assembled and installed next to the edge of the top segments. The first lateral segments will be brought to the erection area and connected to the top segments with hinges. This hinge structure is then lifted using the erection towers in order to place the lateral segments in the correct position. Then, final connections of the segments will be undertaken. By this stage, the arch structure will be sufficiently complete to rest on the ground by itself. The erection towers are then adjusted and installed in new positions to perform the next lifting stage. This will be followed by final infill and supplementary bracing installation. The second set of lateral segments will then be transferred to the erection zone and connected to the partly assembled structure. The same assembling and lifting processes will be repeated until completion of the entire east half of the arch. When this half of the arch is fully assembled, it will be slid to the east to a standby position. The erection area will then be free to start the erection of the second half, the west half. The west half of the arch will then be erected according to the same process as the east half. At the end of west half arch completion, the east half arch will be slid again westwards in order to connect both halves. All the arch integrated systems and electromechanical equipment installation and pre-commissioning will then be undertaken at this stage in order to minimise work in the object shelter zone. Finally, the complete arch is transferred along the 320 metre skidding path to its final position above the object shelter zone. The existing ventilation stack will be dismantled during the arch assembly. The new safe confinement is now in position and conversion of Unit 4 to an environmentally safe zone can begin.